The incident has sent shock waves among the residents of Rotfontein and the country in general when the news spread like wildfire early this morning. When our team arrived at the Army Headquarters main gate at Rotfontein, we were directed to the Air Force Base where the military police directed us to their offices. We were however told to wait as the senior staff members were in a meeting after which they would have called us to visit the accident scene which did not happen. After an entire day of waiting, we were informed through the Crotfontein Police Station Commander that our team would not be allowed to visit the scene. Preliminary police report have it that the helicopter with nine occupants, including two pilots, was on its way to Venduk to pick up Defense Minister Nasa Angola, who was scheduled to address a graduation ceremony of Air Force officers at Crotfontein today. Three people died instantly in the inferno and bent beyond recognition and a minor was pronounced dead upon arrival at the Crotfontein State Hospital. The deceased included a female pilot, while one minor boy was among the five critical injured people who were transferred to Venduk. It was also revealed that three of the occupants were civilians, a woman and the two minor children. The cause of the fire is still unknown at this stage, and the NBC could not obtain further information as senior staff members were locked in meetings the entire day. The names of the four people who died in the helicopter crash in the early hours of this morning will be announced as soon as their next of kin are informed. The Defense Ministry early issued a statement in which it informed the accident, saying further information would be made available later.